Hello everybody and welcome back to Wesley's Plant World and today I have a video for you all about the beautiful plants in front of me here as well as this beautiful plant climbing up behind me here. These are my Skindapsus Tribii Moonlight and this plant is an absolutely gorgeous plant with absolutely fantastic silver leaves. So the plant behind me here has been growing out wonderfully for me for a couple of years now. It's growing right up my new arrangement I have behind me here and I'm very pleased about the way it looks and it has lovely big leaves and it's very happy and it's growing out a lot on the top so that makes me very happy. And from this plant I have taken a few different cuttings. When it got a little bit too long the way I had it before when it was hanging down I had to go in and prune back. So I have this one cutting in here in this pot on its own and I have around three in this glass bottle here in front of me and these have grown out fantastic roots in two weeks. This is amazing. I'm going to show you these roots closer up in a moment but my idea today is that I'm going to put these together and have them hanging up in a hanging basket so that I can enjoy them hanging up in a smaller arrangement. But this one in this pot on its own is a little bit, mm, it's just that. So it needs bushing out and that's why it's wonderful when you can take more cuttings from a mother plant like this and fill out and make new plants or put the cuttings back in the pot with the mother plant to fill out that even more. But before I do anything else, let me give you a closer look of these two plants. So here we go, this is my first plant and if you look at these leaves closer up, you'll get to see just how beautiful it is. Look at those leaves. Absolutely fantastic leaves. And to think they came from my mother plant. Look at that. And now if we look at this lovely arrangement here, you will see some amazing roots. I'm going to have to come right in for you to be able to see these well in this glass jar. So there we go. You can see the leaves here, absolutely beautiful, fresh. And then in the glass jar, look at these white roots going on. And this is the perfect length to start planting them. There's one up there as well. To start planting them into a soil based pot so that they don't get too used to being in water and grow out really delicate water roots. There you go, look at those roots together. This way they'll be able to adapt to the soil much quicker. So look at these lovely leaves, look how gorgeous they are close up. Amazing. So these are going to look wonderful together in one pot. So let me get on with repotting them now. So to do this, I just need to get my little box of tricks up and then I'll be ready to start. <laughs> So I have some ready mixed soil just to add to the soil that this plant is already in. I'm going to try and disturb the roots as little as possible. So just kind of get it up, put it in here, put the other cuttings in and then add more of the new soil. This soil I'm using is a gardening mix. I've added a little bit of fine sand just to break it up so it doesn't compact too much. And I've also put a little bit of bark in there, small pieces of bark. You can kind of say like orchid bark just to mix up a little bit and this should be fine for this plant. So let's get on with the repotting in my hanging basket arrangement. So what I want to do first is get this plant out of this pot here. Oh, this is actually going to be quite easy. So first, I'm going to put a little bit of soil in the bottom of this pot, just like this. And then I'm going to dig out my cutting from this soil. Oh, it's coming up very easily. It's got very few roots actually. Oh, oh, I didn't realize I was holding the leaf petiole and not the stem. So I broke off a bottom leaf and it was a really nice leaf as well. These things happen. This plant is a vine, it will carry on growing out, so don't worry about that. And now we can see the roots growing all along this stem. Can you see those roots? Absolutely lovely. So this is ready to go straight into this little pot here. And this shows it didn't need to be in that huge big pot there anyway. So this is going to be perfect. And what I'm going to try and do is put it in, and when I add the others, I'll have it so that this is kind of crossing over the pot so it's not hanging too much down so it gets a chance to grow out a little bit more. So now I can take this out of the way, don't need that anymore. I don't actually think I need that soil either. 
So now I can take my cuttings out of the jar and it's a very thin lip I have on this. So I've got to be careful that I don't break the roots as I bring them out, but I think it's worked out. Yes. Oh, absolutely fantastic. How many do I have? I have three. I have three here. They're just gorgeous. I suppose you'd like to see these roots close up again out of that glass jar to show you exactly what we've got going on. Let's do that then. So here you go. You can see these roots very well. I'm afraid I'm going to drop one. So, oh, I did. <laughs> so look at this one. Absolutely beautiful. Two lovely long roots. Look at the root on that. Fantastic. And then the next one is this one. And this is just to show you, again, any part of the stem you can get to root out. It's best to do it with a leaf on because that will give it a quicker growth rate with the roots and the leaves to grow out more stem and more leaves. But you can just do it with the vine and the roots will grow out and then a vine will start growing out and leaves as well. But there you go, you can see the next one. And then there's this long one here. I need to be careful here. And that has two roots as well. So I am really pleased that these cuttings on this Skindapsus Trivii Moonlight grow out very quick and are ready to push out my plant. So I'm actually going to have this arrangement hanging up in the back of my new arrangement behind me here. You can see there's a white gap on the wall. I'm going to hang them up in there when I'm finished. So I do want all the vines hanging forward. So we'll do that to make it look bushy straight away. And in fact, I'm going to have to, I've noticed with this one, prune it because this one doesn't want to stand up in here at the moment because there's a leaf I didn't notice down here with the root and then there's roots with these leaves up here which means I can make two separate plants to get another vine to grow out. So I'm going to do that very quickly. So as you can see, one root there and another root under this leaf. So I can just go and prune, just so it's easy for me to handle, I'll prune above that leaf. So now I have two pieces, that is perfect. I do need a little bit more soil in this pot around this main one here before I carry on because it doesn't seem to want to stand up like I want it to. So put some more soil around here, get the roots down in there. So that's in. Now I can put more of these beautiful vines in. So I want this one growing a little bit to the side here. So I can make a hole and put that one there. I can arrange them first and then I can put more soil in. So this one I want to be at the front, kind of. This has got two roots, so I need to really make sure it gets down in the soil. So that's going to be leaning that way like that. And then I have this one with this lovely big leaf here. So I need to put this one at the front here as well, like that. And then the little baby one I can wait with for a minute until I put soil around the top of this arrangement. Oops. So let's get the soil in now. So I can see what's going on. This is so much fun. I love doing things with cuttings. They are so simple and easy to do and it's so rewarding, so exciting. It's great making bigger plants free after you've bought the first one or maybe been given a cutting from somebody. And then you can just carry on your collection more and more and more and more. Let's just tip the rest of this soil in because that's it. <coughs> so that's all done with the soil. My last little one that I can place in the middle somehow, because it's very small, just lay that in like that. It's got its leaf growing out and that will grow up there. So that is everything done. So now I can put my actual hangy thing on top like this to make sure my hanging plant is ready to go. <laughs> That looks amazing. This is now well on its way. Let me bring it in for you to have a closer look. So here's my new hanging basket with my lovely Skindapsis Trivia Moonlight. Much more filled out. The original cutting and the three 
four. And the four new pieces that I've just added to the pot and look at this closer up. Isn't that just an amazing transformation? All the leaves and now I can hang it in the back of my new plant holder. So basically all I need to do now is give this a water through so that it's moist and then leave it to grow out its roots more in the back of my plant holder here behind me that has grow lights and LED lights in it and I have the lights on from 7 o'clock in the morning to 12 o'clock at night so they get plenty of light and these should be able to grow out wonderfully as well as here I have an eastern facing window so the sun penetrates in and actually onto these plants here very slightly and into the back of this room so that my plants do get some bright kind of indirect to very small direct light ricocheting around them and this is just going to make them so happy. So if you have any vining plants I suggest you go and make yourself some cuttings and get yourself propagating lovely new plants to build out a big bushy plant and this I will add more on later on when I need to take more of my mother plant behind me and carry on until this is absolutely full up and looking gorgeous. So all I have to say now is thank you very much for watching this video. Please remember to like, subscribe and hit the bell so you know when my next video will be coming up and I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.